So if you're watching uh, these videos consecutively, you're probably going to be very tired of hearing my voice by the end of this video because I'm going to do a lot of talking and not ex exactly am I writing all the things I'm going to talk about, but you should, you should just listen and try to remember it or not. Uh, it's not super important and it's probably not likely to be tested, but you should just, I don't know, do what you want. So choices bring change and... What I'm going to talk about is goods and services here. So let's start. What, how, and for whom goods and services get produced changes over time, and the quality of our economic lives improve. But the quality of our economic lives and rate at which they improve, or how fast they improve, it really depends on the choices that uh, involves trade-offs. So uh, we really only face like, or not only, we really face three trade-offs between enjoying current consumption and leisure time, which I wrote here, and increasing future, uh, or which I wrote there, and increasing future production, consumption, and leisure time. So that's the kind of trade-offs we face, and these trade-offs really affect the quality of our economic lives and the rate at which the quality of our economic lives changes is changes for the better so for example uh, for this part I guess um, let me just yeah so I guess for this one in increasing future production consumption etc that will probably lead to a better future because if we save more we can buy more capital increase our production if we take less leisure time we can educate we can train ourselves to become more productive and if businesses produce less right now and devote more resources to research and developing new technologies for the future they can probably produce more in the future so i guess what i'm getting at is that the choices we make in the face of these trade-offs determine the pace at which our uh at which our economic condition improves, or at which the quality of our economic lives improve. And you can see that uh, enjoy current consumption if, and leisure time, etc. If that's our choice to just enjoy what we have now, then we probably not have uh, as great as a future for, uh, for the future. And if we think about the future, then we probably have a better future. And I guess that's the kind of things that uh, involves uh, choices bringing change and how uh, us as people uh, the choices we make actually affect the future our kids our future generation uh, not only us but yeah the future as well but uh, let's stop hearing about that it's remember it's not super important that you need to like completely focus on it you just like keep it at the edges of your brain or something uh, because it's pretty unlikely to be uh, tested in a in a time limit in a limited t time uh, exam that usually have in university or college, but yeah, let's get to opportunity cost. So opportunity cost is pretty much the highest valued alternative for gone or given up to get something else. Uh, yeah, um, so yeah, I'm just brain farting right now. So yeah, I'm totally brain farting right now. So we'll talk about opportunity costs in the next video. Uh, yeah, please remember to rate, comment, and subscribe. And I'm sorry for brain farting, but I'll see you.